Welcome back to the Pit Race Karting Experience. Our last event went really well, so thank you to those who came, and welcome to the new racers. If you don't remember, my name is Adam. And I'm Nick. Let's get started on this week's driver's meeting. Last event, there were 40 racers on our 0.82 mile long track, and we really appreciated how many of you were there. And that many of you were on time and even early. Let's keep that going. As stated in last week's video, Every driver must wear a helmet, a neck brace, and a jacket to participate. Everyone must wear closed-toed shoes as slides and heels are not allowed. Dresses and skirts are also not allowed. You may bring your own helmet as long as it's closed face and DOT approved. Fire-resistant motorcycle jackets are also allowed. We do not supply gloves, but please feel free to bring some if you prefer. The carts that you will be driving have Honda GX270 motors. As you can see, the gas pedal is on the right and the brake pedal is on the left. When you guys get into your carts, we'll be able to adjust your gas and brake pedals here and be able to adjust your seat here. Our track has three corner stations where our marshals stand. Turn three, turn 10, and at pit in. At any point, if you spin off track or need assistance, please raise your hand and do not get out of your cart. Our workers will do their best to come and assist you. If you spin off and you're still on the track, avoid entering the grass if possible. And in cases where you must re-enter a hot track, only go when it is clear and safe to do so. There are cones along the track that block cut-throughs and point you in the direction of the track if you ever find yourself lost. Driver's etiquette is very important while racing. A jogging pace is an acceptable pace while in the pits. Full speed is not allowed, and you will be taken out of the race. There will be no aggressive driving, such as bumping, punting, and illegal passes. Also, pushing out other racers out of the racing line for your benefit is also not allowed, and will result in a black flag. However, drafting is allowed. If you are exiting the track, it is driver's etiquette to raise your hand while pitting, to allow drivers behind you to know what is going on. This is the green flag. You will see this flag when your race is starting. This is the yellow flag. If you happen to see this flag on track, that means that somebody has spun out in front of you. Do not pass under a yellow flag and use caution at all times. This is the red flag. You'll see this under extreme weather conditions such as lightning or when there is a serious incident on the track. When you see this flag displayed, we want you to come to a controlled stop on the right hand side of the track. This is the black flag, also known as a penalty flag. If you see this on track, that means that you are doing something wrong, such as bumping, punting, or drifting. There are two versions of this flag. The pointed version, if you see this, this is a warning. If you see a waving version, that means you have to come back in and talk to us, and we really don't want to have to do that. This is the white flag. It signals that you have one lap left in the race, and you will receive it at the start-finish line. This is the blue flag. If you see this on track, that means that the leader of the race is behind you and that you will need to come off to the side of the track, not to a stop, but just so that they can pass you. This is the checkered flag. You will receive it at the start finish and you'll receive it here at turn 10 in the holder like this. You will continue from turn 10 all the way around to our pit in where there is a 10 foot checkered flag and two neon cones for you to pit in at. We hope everyone has fun and we are excited to see you guys again at our event. If you have any questions about the videos or in general, feel free to ask any of our workers. This week's lucky number is going to be number six.